What's good guys, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to the Xetro Beats TV. If you still didn't do it, please subscribe to the channel to support me along this journey. In this video we show you my process to mix and master a beat, to make it sound loud and hard, to immediately grab the attention of the artist. But first, you got to make sure of two things. You got to use good BSDs for your melodies or good one shot or whatever you use for melodies and high quality drum kits for your drums because you can't expect that the beat will sound good if you don't use good sounds so this is your starting point the quality of the sound you're gonna use for your beats the second one is the sound selection sound selection might be a little bit hard the beginning because maybe you're not trained to understand which sounds are better to use but with a lot of practice this thing will be more easy to understand with sound selection i mean that you get to use sounds that together sound good you know especially for your melodies try to use instruments that sound in different frequency range so they don't overlap themselves, you know, and make your melody sound bad. And about the drums, try to use drum sound that sound good together. But it's all about your hearing, you know. That's why I told you that you can get better at it with practice. It's all about practice, making beats every day and you will be also better at sound selection. You can also take inspiration from the beats you hear from other producers. Maybe you, you hear that those sounds sound good together so you can use them too, you know. So the first thing I do about mix is to level the instruments while I'm making the beat. And I do this thing in the channel rack. So while I'm making the beat and I'm adding instruments and drum sounds, I immediately level them to make them sound good so I don't have to do too much in the mixer. After that I just put in loop the hook like that and then I go in the mixer. So this is my mixer, I uh, set it up with names and colors. I already put a couple effects on the melody just to make it sound good, but nothing crazy. About the equalization on the melody, I just put a, a basic uh, low cut and I cut the low frequencies again from this EQ, like this. So just with leveling from the channel rack and a couple of effects on the melodies, the beats sound in this way. already sound good because I use good sounds for my melodies and I use a good jam kit that is the Accenture Jam Kit Volume 3, link in the description if you want to grab it. Just a couple of touches to make it sound perfect. As you can see I create a drum bus so I root all my drums to this bus that I'm gonna turn off at the moment. So I'm gonna make sure that the melody is okay about volumes. Another thing I, I usually do is to pan the melodies left and right in this way. Something a little bit to the right, something a little bit to the left, just to create more space between an element and another. So I have to say that the melodies sound good, I don't have to do nothing more to it. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with the drums. So I'm gonna turn off the melody bass, I'm gonna focus only on the drums. First thing with the drums, I usually put them in mono in this way because the drums sound in the center, so I prefer to make them sound in mono. But this is just a choice because sometimes I hear beats with highest super wide in the mix or 8-weight in stereo or something like that, so they are just choices. After I put the drums in mono, I'm gonna make the final touches on the volumes. And 
then I bring back the melody and I listen all together. If the melody is too high of volume, I can just turn it down a little bit from the melody bus. That's it guys, that is what I do in mix. It's all about leveling bro, nothing more. If you're wondering how the 8 sound like that, it's always the same thing. I open the 8 sample and I go in this section and I just boost it from this EQ knob. About the master, we need obviously a soft clipper cause uh, as you can see, the beat is clipping. Cause it goes above the zero dBs. So I add a soft clipper and I don't touch anything. I can keep like that. Then I add a parametric EQ and in this EQ I just turn up the high frequencies and the low frequencies a little bit. So turning up the high frequencies with this EQ I just add more crispiness to the beat and turning up the low frequencies I make the kick and the 808 hit even harder then i usually add a fresh air to saturate a little bit the mid and the high frequencies in the end i add a span that is a plugin to analyze the frequency spectrum of your beat so I put it in master mode and I just check the waveform and uh, I understand that the, the kick and the weight have to hit at maximum minus 21 and the highest peak have to be around the minus 27 so I make sure to respect these two points I see that sometimes the Hyatt peak go over the minus 27, so I just turn down the Hyatt a little bit. And as you can see, there's space for the artist, because all this part will be take from the artist's voice. And the final plugin I use in the master is the uh, loudness meter to check the loudness of the beat. and to make sure that the beat is loud enough you got to make sure that this value the LUFS has to be in a range from minus 8 to minus 6 so that's it guys this is my process to mix and master my beats it's pretty fast and I also advise you to use a template so a project that is already set it up with all the effects you use on every channel so you don't have to open them every time you start a new project you will save a lot of time trust me just don't overthink too much when you make beats don't add tons of plugins tons of compressor you don't need that as you can see you don't need that i on the drums i didn't put anything because uh, the drum kits are good they don't need any other uh, treatment or something it's all about the quality of the sound you use how you use those sounds together and how you level their volumes because basically this is what i did in this beat i hope that after you watch this video you will be better at mixing and mastering your beats and if yes leave a like to this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one